I'm Kate Cheney Chapel, and I'm here to tell you about the sculpture I made for this show, Out of the Box, the Art and Science Walk here at Highfield Hall and Gardens. I got started on this whole idea because around the millennium, I just became more and more concerned about what was happening to our environment and the creatures that we share this fragile web of life with. That concern hasn't lessened, it's only gotten more urgent. And my first attempts uh, at connecting with this concern was to bring it into my art and make earth envelopes that enveloped creatures from different realms, turtles, frogs, etc. And at the same time, I was reading about the decline of whole species, um, frogs being born with deformities and things that were really concerning me. In my youth, I read uh, Rachel Carson's book, Silent Spring, and, and she really inspired me with her bravery to tell us about DDT and the harm it was doing. That book I read growing up, and it really influenced my life in many ways and in the businesses that I started with my husband, Tom, in businesses that address the concerns about the environment and ways that we could modify business to address them. Today, I've made these three starfish. They're made of stainless steel that can be in any environment, but in this case, they're in the woods, they're on post, and they dance around as if they're coming in and out of the woods, hiding and playfully skipping about. But there's something ominous in them, and that is, if you look closely, you'll see the word for DDT spelled out in the arms of the starfish. This is because Rachel Carson pointed out that dichlorodiphenyl trichloroethane, or the long word for DDT, is so persistent it lingers in all of us now, still after 50 years. In 2015, I did an indoor sculpture called Interrelated for a school in West Hartford, Connecticut for their science building. It consisted of a huge steel starfish from which hung three DNA strands. And these strands were covered, this double helix was covered with creatures in paper and printmaking from earth, sea, and air. That gave me the idea that bringing these sea stars forward as emblematic of our connection to the interrelatedness that Rachel Carson speaks of would be key. She says all the life of the planet is interrelated. Each species has its own ties to others and all are related to the earth. So with that idea of interrelationship or interconnection, I thought the sea stars were a good symbol. I wanted her to come out of the indoors and go outside and maybe have a family. So with the stainless steel, I devised a method of making them impervious to earth, air, and water. They sit out in the rain or the sun, but they have many layers of paint and stenciling on them. It is still a printmaking technique, and since I'm trained as a printmaker, it's a great way to bridge the gap with my other practices and my two-dimensional work. Let me tell you about the process of going from inspiration to actualization. I have a friend who's an engineer who has helped me with the fabrication of these pieces because this is heavy metal and it requires a lot of equipment and I don't have all of that in my studio, but I do have Nelson Bruns to help me. We start with the paper model and wire and a little masking tape and I can put together a starfish large enough for what I want. Then we go outside and place it, and we decide on the bends and the shapes and finalize those. And then Nelson water cut them out of stainless steel. In the meantime, I created the designs for the matrix, which are overlaid on the arms of the starfish, and then laser cut them so that I could use them interchangeably and as stencils for more than one piece. Once the stainless steel was cut and bent, we sandblasted them primed them, and then I painted them with many layers of color, and eventually the stencils for the word and for the matrix that integrates everything. 
So I want to celebrate life through these pieces, but I also want to have people heed the hidden message within them. Now they're living in the lovely woods surrounding Highfield Hall, and they beckon to you in their playful way to think about the joyfulness of the creatures that live with us and share the earth. Thank you.